So I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. I wake up in Rattai. Uh, there's this miller called Pashik. And I'm thinking back, you know, what exactly happened? I, I come from Scalots. It, you know, it was okay. And then we got attacked. I had to flee. And then, uh, yeah, I remember it being really nice and vibrant and beautiful. And then, you know, next thing you know, it's being destroyed uh, decimated and being looted by bandits, all this stuff. Uh, not good, not good. So the next question is, what should I do about it? Uh, well, uh, I decide to head out uh, of that Miller's place and uh, actually go around the area of Ratai and, uh, you know, maybe ask a few questions. What do you think about the Cumans and Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. A soldier was saying in the alehouse that barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women. They hold nothing sacred. The filthy heathens. Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies Hail do that. Me. But then barbarians take pleasure in it. I don't know if it's just old wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. So I decided to do some more research into what happened. And it just, it doesn't look good. After thinking it over for a little while, I decided to head north, back to Scalitz, and see what I can do. When I get there, it's, you know, there's nothing like I remember. It's totally destroyed. I, I get really upset. So at that point, I decide to get on my horse and head uh, to a village in the forest. It's rumored to have uh, bandits and uh, possibly humans, which are basically mercenaries for hire. You know, another form of bandit. And I'm trying to figure out what can I do to make this right. When I finally arrive there, I decided to do a little bit of scouting, you know, get some medieval intel. Uh, take a look at all the entrances. And I noticed they're heavily guarded. I further noticed that there's even more these bandits and humans and whatever they are in the camp. Uh, but, but if I hit them at the right time, they may not all be wearing heavy armor. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, I'm going to be prepared for this. I've got weapons. I've got a lot of armor, heavy armor. And, uh, of course, I'm loaded up with potions. So I'm thinking, stealth time! So I start sneaking up at this guard post, thinking nobody will see me. Hey. And they see me. I guess it turns out, you know, to be good at stealth, you gotta sneak up on them from behind and be quiet. None of those things which I did, but hey, I got a plan. I have got a plan here. And this plan obviously involves weapons oh, now. I don't want to give it all away here. Oh, there's one of them out of the way. One of them's gone. Alright, let's get this guy, get this guy. So yeah. My plan involves arrows. Should have trained a little more. Should have trained a little more. But that won't stop me, will it? Okay. Now I've got to take care of the rest of the camp. If stealth won't work, plan B. We'll just hit him with arrows. That seemed pretty effective. Okay, so the time had come. I was getting into the more defended part of the camp. This is where I had to be really aggressive. I also had another plan, which I will tell you later, or I may have mentioned. All right, he should be done. I hate that Halibrand, or Hall whatever they call that. 
That thing can destroy me. All right, you're probably figuring out what my plan is right now. Well, of course, some of the plans, like plan A, avoid that Hallen brand. Oh, can I get this guy? Plan B, of course. Keep them in short range or keep it where I can keep it down to one on one. Got to get rid of the Hallenbrand here. Oh, there we are. Okay, he's done. Plan C. Take out guys with heavy armor. Or armor. And then, of course, I gotta figure out a way to shorten the numbers here. I haven't fought the guys that are waking up, but... There's guys that are waking up that aren't heavily armored that are, you know... Oh, you see one right there. He's a one arrow shot if I can get to him. Okay, here we go. Over Got him. One down, many to go. That was like three, four more in the background here. They're raising the alarm. That's not good. All right, one arrow at a time, one arrow at a time. I can't afford to miss. I can't afford to miss. Got to make contact. Got to make contact. Part of the plan. Sheesh, my aim is horrible here. How could I miss from that close to range? Alright, I gotta do something here. I'm in a little bit of a pinch. Alright, just focus here. One arrow at a time. One arrow at a time. Maybe run later. Oh, we got the tough guy. Alright, see if I can shorten the numbers here. It's nice to hit them when they're not awake. In the morning because then they're not wearing armor and it's a little bit easier to take these guys out there we go change it up bring the sword out bring this out. there we go get this sword out this is a sharp one too that'll make yeah there you go there you go you bunch of chickens okay okay don't quit here don't quit here let's take care of the rest of the camp There you go. You guys can just run. That's what I thought. Oh. Fist time. Alright, that's not part of the covert operation. Get that sword out. There we go. Alright. Moving down. Moving down. Here we go. Oh, another one bites the dust. Oh, these guys are going to be a little tougher. This guy's got, like, armor. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. There we go. It's important to work on your sword fighting techniques in this game. Alright. I'm not going to fight this guy. I'm going for the arrow guy. If you guys are an archer and you get the pokey sword thing up close, you can sometimes take him out. I didn't do it very good there. But I like to run at him and poke like I did earlier. Uh, it can be very effective if you do it right, which I didn't do. So I'm going to switch back to arrows and take care of this guy. Maybe. You find the arrow button. Fists aren't gonna work here. Fists aren't gonna work here. Alright, we've got the arrows. We've got the arrows. We got the arrows. Can we make contact? Can we make contact? Yeah, maybe. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Oh, I didn't even need to do a mercy kill. Alright, next target, next target, next target. Where are they at? There they are. I don't even know what hit them. They will soon. If only I could do better with arrows. I'm good at close range though. There we go. One of them. Right, here we go. Here we steady, steady, steady. That was a nice shot. That was one of the better shots. Okay, time for camp number two. Oh, we got one more guy here. One more guy here. All right, this rain should help my stealth campaign, which I haven't used. But it should keep me quiet here. There we go. There we go. All right, let's work through this camp here. Anybody there? Oh, this is... I must have got most of them. Oh, wait, there's one of them. He's sleeping. All right. Stay sleeping. There you go. Bye-bye. Next. Really? Okay. 
Should have wore some armor when you took me on. Bye bye, bandit. Now, I'm not super concerned about him. He has an arrow in him, and uh, he'll eventually die of his wounds because he won't use his bandage. All that intel I had earlier did not reveal this uh, backdoor entrance to the camp. So yeah, if you ever plan to attack the camp, think about the backdoor entrance. Think about how stealthy you could be. You know, a lot of potential there, possibly. It's not heavily guarded, obviously, like the other stuff. Could give you a good jump start. Alright, let's work the rest of this camp out here. Alright, run, run, run. Remember that guy I was talking about? Oh, yep. He died of a zero wound. Now, now it's time for some stealth. Okay, here we go. Sneak up behind. And boom! Uh, what just happened? Why didn't that work? Oh, boy. All right, time for some arrows. My specialty, short range. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, let's get the other guard post. Uh, try not to loot when you're in this situation. Uh, you want to be able to use your agility, be able to run, move around quickly, and stay out of uh, cumbersome situations where you're completely outnumbered. You gotta be able to move fast. Okay, we're sneaking up on him here. I see some guards. I think I see some guards. Yeah, I see him. Alright, quiet, quiet. Let me see if I can use my stealth on one of these guys. Here we go, here we go. Alright, alright, you're in. Yes! Yes! I got a stealth kill! One stealth kill! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I gotta fight these other guys too. Okay, back to my specialty short range bow. There we go. There we go. He should be done shortly. One more. Hand these guys. There you go. Alright. Can't take any chances here. Take can't take any chances here. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Okay, there we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay. I finish him off now. Now it's time to get paid. Next, uh, I got to loot the entire camp. Uh, some soldiers yield a little bit of groschen, but the main value came from taking the armor and trading it in later. Being so overburdened, I had to get a horse. It was important to have one I could whistle in and get out of there. Otherwise, it would take forever. I had it on my horse to the nearest blacksmith in Talmberg. Being overburdened, I could not walk very fast. But I had a plan. Trade all this loot in. Now, fortunately, none of this loot was hot. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. And since none of that loot was hot, that meant I could trade it in to him instead of having to move it to a bunch of millers, which takes forever. Uh, being so happy, I decided to, you know, keep him on good terms and give him a deal. There you are, with a little top up. Well now. He was much. very happy. It was what I called a win-win. I had uh, given him a good deal. I had uh, won myself. I had taken out a bandit camp. Cumans. Bandits. Got a lot of groschen for it. So, yeah, that was my revenge for what they had done to my city. It was the best I could do. And, yeah, that was my story. That is my story. Thank you for watching.